In this short video, it is not possible to cover all available options and parameter values. Please refer to the help for more detailed information. Initialize Sapphire from the launcher and select the file to open for analysis. This file has a single rate history with multiple gauges based on different boundary models. Use the pressure gauge named Ceiling Boundary. Go to Extract and select which buildup we are going to analyze using either the drop down list or the graphic option. We will use the last buildup by default. Click Close and after validating the log lot plot for this period, click OK. The next step is to select the model. Observe that the derivative is not a straight horizontal line and the shape is indicative of a ceiling boundary. Click on Tools and select a single fault as the boundary model. Click OK. Maximize the plot and select the Icon Show Tool parameters. Move the infinite acting radio flow line to the original stabilization level. We can see that the permeability values changes with the line movement. Reposition the ceiling boundary line to match the increase in the derivative. Close the tool parameter box and reduce the plot to its original size. Click on the analytical model icon and observe that the model and parameter values from our manual match have already transferred. Click Generate and an initial match is made. Next we go to Improve. A green radial button indicates that the parameter is a variable and all have a minimum and maximum value for the regression. These can be altered if required. By default, the program is using all the pressure points in the log lot plot, but we can refine our selection in the target step. Here we can deselect points by using the filter lasso. Alternatively, we can change the weight of a group of points by selecting either with the lasso function or by time selection. The reset filter resets all points to the default value. Click Run to start the regression, and after a match is obtained, the window closes and we see the optimized model match. The tool lines are no longer needed, and so a right click in the plot enables deselection of show tools. A summary of the results appears in the box to the right. Full results can be shown by double clicking on this box or under the results button in the top toolbar. Double click on the analysis tab at the top and rename it Ceiling Boundary. The next model is a leaky fault. Create a new analysis by clicking on New Analysis. Keep all input parameters ticked. In the New Analysis window, we go to the Pressure drop-down list on the top toolbar and select Leaky Boundary. We can extract the last buildup using the default extraction parameters with the keyboard shortcut. For this, we press the Shift key and the keyboard and simultaneously click the Extract button. After Extraction, select the Tools option, Leaky Fault Boundary. Right-click in the Log Lot plot and activate Show Tool Parameters. Adjust the infinite acting radio flow line to the correct level. The Leaky Fault line has two handles. The one on the left is for distance, the other adjusts the leakage. Please note that a zero leakage value means that the boundary is sealing. After the manual match, close the Tool Parameters window. We can use the same type of keyboard shortcut to get an initial match. Select Shift on the keyboard and simultaneously click on the analytical model icon. After this automatic generation of the model, we can continue with the Shift Improve to optimize on all parameters. We do a right click in the plot and deselect Show Tools. We rename this analysis Leaky Boundary. We create a new analysis based on the current, but untick all boxes. We now go through all the steps as if making a completely new analysis. However, the reservoir and PVT data from the previous analysis are preloaded. Clicking through the windows, at step 5, we select an infinite reservoir. We change the pressure channel in the drop-down list to parallel faults and shift extract 
to create a diagnostic log log plot using the default extraction parameters. We reposition the KH line to match the initial infinite acting radial flow period and shift the well bore storage unit slope line. In the tools section and in the boundary model, we select Channel. Click OK and see the tool parameters by a right click in the log log plot and by selecting Show Tool Parameters. We move the anchors to match the pressure derivative data, observing that the distance to the boundaries changes. Close the Tool Parameter window. Using the keyboard shortcut Shift Analytical, to create a match based on our selected model. To optimize the match, select Shift Improve. And finally, change the name of the analysis to two parallel faults. We create a new analysis based on the leaky boundary analysis, but untick all boxes. Again, we go through all the steps as if making a completely new analysis. However, at step 5, we select an infinite reservoir. We now change the pressure channel to two intersecting faults. Again, click Shift Extract to create a diagnostic log log plot using the default extraction parameters. Reposition the KH line to match the initial infinite acting radial flow period. Then go to the tools and change the boundary model to intersecting faults. Open the tool parameters window. Adjust the red line to match the shape of the pressure derivative. Moving the line along the X axis changes the distance. Moving it up and down changes the opening angle. After we have made an approximate match, close the tool parameters and open the analytical model window. We can see that the boundary model is now intersecting faults, any angle. Because we changed the level of the infinite acting radial flow line, the skin has an incorrect value, so set this to zero and click Generate. Deselect Show Tools in the Log Lot Plot and click on Improve. It must be noted that permeability is a very important parameter, as it affects the values of all other variables. Therefore, with more complicated models, it can be prudent to deselect the permeability in the first instance. Deselect the permeability and click Run. We see that the match is good, so we can go to Improve again, but now we also include the permeability to fine-tune the match. Finally, change the analysis name to two intersecting faults. Now create a new analysis based on the present one, but with the boxes unticked. Click through the steps, but in step 5, change the boundary model to infinite. Change the pressure gauge to U-shaped. Use Shift Extract to make a log lot plot of the last buildup period with the default extraction parameters. Move the KH line to match the early infinite acting radial flow period. Next, click on the Tools icon and select Rectangle for the boundary model. Also open the Show Tool Parameters box. We observe four triangles in our diagnostic log lot plot indicating the distance to the four boundaries. We only have three boundaries here, so effectively move the north boundary to infinity. We can then move the three other triangles to match the derivative. Close the tool parameters box and go to analytical model. Select the northern boundary and change it to absent. Reset the skin to zero and click Generate. Next, hide the show tools on the plot. Click Improve, deselect the permeability and regress. 
The match looks okay, so to fine tune the regression, rerun the improve, but now add permeability to the variables. Rename the analysis U shaped. We will now create a new analysis based on this one, but with the box from the Keep All Input Parameters option ticked, change the pressure channel to Closed Rectangle. Do a Shift Extract to analyze the last buildup using the default extraction parameters. Open the Show Tool Parameters window. Move the KH line to the initial stabilization level and then move the faults to match the shape of the derivative. Close the Show Tools Parameters box and do an automatic match of the model by shift click on the analytical model. Hide the model lines by doing a right click in the plot and deselect Show Tools. Finally, run the improve on the model in two stages. First without the permeability and then, after obtaining a good match, add permeability to the second run to fine tune the regression. Rename this analysis Closed Rectangle. We can compare different matches by clicking on the Compare icon at the top, making a selection of the required models to compare. We can see that the respective shapes are displayed in all the plots. If we click on Results, we can see all parameters of the selected models. Click Close in the Compare window to go back to the Standard Analysis window.